I'm going to share with you today something I learned, something I discovered by accident. How to plate or coat the zinc nuts and bolts and screws. Uh, how to turn them black using just soda, some sort of a Coca-Cola or this is a generic brand. And the uh, corrosion from a battery terminal. You put the battery terminal or the corrosion into the coke that's going to kind of turn a murky color and then I'm going to drop the screws I've got just got a couple of screws I've picked up uh, zinc plated screws I'm going to drop those into the soda and battery acid mixture and they'll turn black overnight probably just a sec okay so I just brushed a bunch of the corrosion off the battery terminal right into the container full of soda and so it's can't really see it in the video but it's kind of brown uh, so all I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna drop these in there and I'm gonna wait I do not know how long the reaction takes uh, the time I did it I came across it by accident and it was overnight but I'm gonna check these off and on and try to figure out how long it takes. I'll be right back after a while. Okay, so I'm back inside now. Uh, this is what I'm left with. You can see the screw right here in the center of the screen. It's a lighter finish from the others. That one I pulled out about half an hour after dropping, in, dropping it into the solution. I pulled it out, wiped it off, and let it sit out. The others I pulled out wiped them off and then I put them back in for another half hour and as you can see they got much darker uh, this time they came out more of a chocolate brown so the last time they were kind of a jet black I I can't find the the original ones otherwise I'd show you it could have been the concentration of the battery corrosion to the soda or it could have been temperature but I'm leaning more towards the concentration. Uh, this time they came out more of a patina. Kind of kind of a forced browning patina to them. So I left them sitting in WD-40 overnight soaked into this soaked into the shop rag right here uh, to prevent any further rusting and they came out pretty well. So another interesting accidental discovery on this. I uh, got another battery terminal, whipped up some more solution, and I collected everything into one water bottle. And so in the future I can do this just for the heck of it, and I don't need to find a bad battery for it. Uh, so yeah, I think I referred to this as plating before, but no, this is, I'd say probably more of a patina, or browning this time. Uh, anyways, if you can explain what's going on, please leave a comment and help inform anyone else watching this video uh, if not then hey maybe you can try this yourself put it to use somehow I don't know what you're gonna do with it it's up to you uh, but thanks for watching okay so this literally just took seconds maybe 10 seconds uh, could open another water bottle pour the solution in there just so I can dip the knife and this is my Mora Companion carbon steel blade. Uh, dipped in there with a matter of seconds, just like this. Kind of swished it around, whatever. Pulled it out, and it took that. The carbon steel really started to change colors almost instantly. And it took to it really well. It's coming out with a really nice finish so far. I'm just going to kind of keep doing this and wiping off the steel. So, and it'll come out looking really nice. So, of course, you didn't see it before I put it in there, but my bad. Uh, but yeah, it's changing this color really well. So, I'll wipe this off, oil that up just like I did the handful of screws, and it'll look really nice. A uh, bit of a disclaimer on this I am no chemist, I no scientist, nothing. I cannot explain the process, I just know it is reacting with 
carbon steels and apparently zinc as well allowing me to kind of brown or blue or patina different kinds of steel uh, do this at your own discretion do a little bit of research if you're hesitant see that dripping off there uh, do not drink this it still smells like soda do not drink it make sure people know not to drink this if you do you if you do it anyways it's your own doing it's your fault you deserve it so anyways maybe this will help some of you come up with a cheap way to blue or brown your own metals enjoy <laughs>